Hi, I'm Rudy, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the steps or journey, as you might say, uh, that I took uh, to purchase my Yamaha bass and my Fender amplifier. Hi, my name is Rudy, and today I want to be sharing with you a little bit of the journey that I went on and the research to purchase my new Yamaha bass and my Fender amplifier. And before I get started, I just want to, you know, be clear, I don't, I don't play the bass, and so I'm not a musician at all. I love music, and, uh, you know, of course, that inspired me to uh, take an interest to learn how to play uh, the bass. So... Um, I'm going to share with you uh, some of the steps that I took, you know, along the way. So, you know, for starters, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I wrestled with the decision, like, you know, what I wanted uh, to learn as far as an instrument goes. I've always been, you know, partial uh, to the bass, so that was what I chose. So, um, and also the information I give you, you know, if you want to play guitar or you want to play uh, drums or whatever in instrument, keyboards, uh, you could you could apply this uh, to those instruments as well. But today, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be talking about the bass. So, you know, once I made the decision to buy a bass and, and to take up the hobby, I, or, or the, uh, yeah, the hobby, I basically went to uh, Guitar Center and to Sam Ash, and, you know, I, I quickly realized that I didn't know anything in terms of you know, what to buy, what I would need as a beginner. And so, you know, although the people were very nice, very helpful, um, you know, I really couldn't make an educated decision or buy what was best for me, you know, at my skill level, which is zero um, <clears throat> at that point. So I, I came home and uh, I, of course I went to uh, YouTube and I did a little bit of research and um, actually I did a lot of research. I saw a lot of good videos. There were a lot of good guys out there that had some, some very helpful information. The channel that, that I gravitated to was Bass Buzz. And the reason that I did that was just, just because they had a lot of good videos. They had a lot of good uh, comparisons. Um, and just uh, some of the information that they gave kind of led me to believe like, hey, you could do this. And so, um, you know, they were instrumental in helping me choose an instrument, no pun intended. But, um, so anyhow, uh, they, for starters, they did a, uh, a video on bass comparison for beginners. And I believe they, they, they reviewed quite a few basses. They narrowed it down to between the uh, the the Yamaha TRBX uh, 304, and then there was a, a Fender Squire, and I believe there was also a um, a Ibanez 300E in there. And um, you know the the Yamaha seemed to 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 be the base that was always right there at the top, and uh, so you know. I went down to Guitar Center, you know, I tried it out, I liked the way it felt, and so I, I decided on, on buying that bass, and so, you know, when, when I, um, when I decided to make that purchase, of course, Guitar Center didn't have it, Sam Ash didn't have it, they offered to, to uh, ship it, and they would uh, get it to me when they had it in stock, and, you know, at that point, I had done my research, I was ready to make a move, so, I just went online and I bought it from uh, Craft Music. Uh, I bought it for three sixty nine. There was no deals on it, and Craft basically got it to me. I think within three days. The packaging was very well. You know, it came in that pie shaped box, but then they also put additional box over that with packaging. So, you know, I appreciated that. Um, so, you know, I got this, and then the the next research that I did was for the amplifier that I would be needing and again 
I went to, to that channel, Face Buzz, and they did a nice review. They did a nice uh, set of reviews for uh, entry level uh, bass amp, and um, you know they they did a, a Harky bass uh, amp, and you know they did a couple of others, but Harky and then Fender uh, were were a couple that they that they liked, but the the Fender Rumble Forty was one that they recommended for entry level uh, bass. And um, I also did a little bit of research and then talking to people, um, and they, they suggested that, you know, the natural progression, like if you're gonna play bass, you, you might end up jamming with somebody or you wanna be in a band or whatnot. And I thought, well, yeah, of course, you know, that, that makes sense. And they said, well, if you're gonna do that, you, you would probably want at least um, a 100 amp uh, bass amplifier. So. Uh, a 100 watt bass amplifier. So that's what I bought. I mean, that's what I decided to go with. Um, now the Rumble 40 that was suggested on uh, Bass Buzz, that one goes for like 219. And then the, uh, so I, I decided to stay with the, the Fender amp since they, they recommended that one. I just was looking to go, you know, with, with uh, you know, a more powerful amp. So I decided to go up to the Rumble 100, and they had those for uh, $369, I believe, at Guitar Center and Sam Ash. And sometimes they put them on sale for $300, bucks, just so you know. Um, but that was the price. And then, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the, the Rumble 40 is basically a $219 amplifier. Um, so I went online to look you know, for them on, on alternate sites. And what I found was, um, you know, on Craigslist, there was a, some guy had a brand new um, Rumble 40 and he wanted a uh, hundred bucks for it. And the thing was just, you know, it was, it was just brand new. And then there was another gentleman that, that had the, the, uh, the Rumble 100 for $150. And it actually came with a nice cover and, um, and again, it was it was like new, so you know I decided to go with that one, and I basically saved myself a couple hundred bucks in doing that. So here I have my my bass, and then I also have uh, you know my amplifier, and so you know I need a stand and I need some cords, and so you know of course I look at the the two big ones, you know at least out here in Southern California, were Guitar Center and Sam Ash. And they had the stand for $14, and then they had a 10-foot cable. Uh, the, the lowest price 10-foot cable they had was $22.99. So it was basically $35 plus tax, which would came out to like $40 bucks for the both. Um, so I, I went home, I did a little bit more research, and I, I found that you could go to the Guitar Center website, and you could get that same stand uh, for 10 bucks. And then you can also get a 15 foot cable for $12.99, right? So basically I got, and, and what they do is they ship them to the store so, and they don't charge you for it. So you go back to the store that you already purchased the item from and you basically get it, uh, I think I saved like 15 bucks for the two. And so anyhow, uh, I was able to save a little bit of money there. So, you know, I, I, I saved quite a bit of money on the app. Uh, I got it for way more than half price, and then I saved, you know, some good money on the um, close to half price on the on the stand and the cable. Um, so combined, I paid uh, five seventy five for everything out the door. And if I would have bought these things new, I would have paid like. 865 so I ended up saving like $290 and one thing I didn't mention on the guitar here uh, which I didn't uh, give you the model number and it was the TR uh, BX 304 uh, that was the Yamaha base that I purchased um, I went online and there were people that were selling them brand new uh, people that just picked up a base and just never it never took and they were selling them for 250 and 280 and the only reason I didn't buy one of those 
was because I had my heart set on the black face. And so um, I didn't do it. But if I would have, I would have saved an additional, uh, I believe it's like one, 130 to 150. And I basically would have got this package over half price, uh, basically new without box, you know, for like 430 bucks. So uh, I only bring this, this up just so you understand like, you know, if, if you want to go out there and purchase this item, uh, just be smart about it and, you know, do a little bit of research and it could save you a lot of money. Whether you're deciding to buy something on the higher end, not just this, this setup, but even if you're going to buy something on the lower end, there's just a lot of good deals out there to be had. There's so many people that, you know, hopefully I'm not one of them that, that say, hey, I'm going to learn how to play the bass and then they never pick it up and they it never really, you know, gets any traction. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you and um, you know hopefully it's helpful and if you find the information helpful uh, this is my first video so please if you like it give me a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe please do that um, I would appreciate it I am going to give uh, put out more videos um, with some different things out there for you I, I do want to track the progress uh, of my base journey and so I hope, you know, I'll be getting some of that out there too. Um, but, you know, in closing, I just want to let you know that, you know what, um, you know, when I went to the Guitar Center, I was kind of a little bit intimidated, you know, like most people are. And you walk by and just pluck a few strings, you know, and then you just, you just kind of scurry along. And you're a little intimidated because, you know, you think everybody in there is like, uh, you know, the, the next Flea or the, the, the next Clapton or Jimmy Page. And, and that's just not the case, man. I mean, I, I found that everybody there was very helpful. I felt that even when, when I bought this bass, I mean, the bass amp, that the guy that sold it to me, he was just like really helpful, not only with the amp, he gave me like a full on demo when I picked it up. It wasn't like just give me my 150 bucks and get out of here. Um, he went over the whole thing with me. And not only that, um, he, he talked to me about um, you know, about, you know, my bass selection and, um, cause I hadn't quite bought the, the, the bass when I talked to him, but he's, you know, he basic, uh, basically told me like, you know, make sure it just feels good in your hands and, and, uh, you know, get the one that's right from you. Reviews are always nice. Um, but, um, you know, get the one that, that feels best to you. And so, you know, that's what I did with, with the ratings that I got off of Bass Buzz and some of the other channels that, that also rated these. So anyhow, um, that's what I did. And I think I, I came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. You know, give me some comments. If you have any tips, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always grateful for any advice somebody can give me that points me in the right direction to whatever it is that I'm trying to do. Um, and for you guys that are thinking about playing an instrument, the best thing I could tell you is, um, you know, I tell this to my kids all the time, whatever it is you want to do, whether, whether it's music, whether it's, you know, you want to be in the medical profession, um, however, how you want to go in any of those things, um, why not you? Kanye is just another person just like you and me, Jimmy Page, all these guys are just, you know, just like us. Uh, they, they have this, they're equipped with the same things. They just choose to take the steps towards their goals and then they apply themselves. So, you know what, if you want to do this, um, I, I, I totally suggest that, um, not only in music and anything that you pursue it 100% and, uh, you give it your best and, you know, it may not take, um, but, uh, it, it may but you'll never know until you try. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Once again, please give me a like if you liked it. If you didn't, well, give me a thumbs down. I, I can take it, I'm a big boy. Um, and subscribe. And if you don't like my future stuff, well, you can always unsubscribe. So, hey, thank you so much and uh, have an awesome day.